ice. Zamboni bear, Zamboni bear, making sure the ice is there. We've got the bestest ice rink ever. So, what are we going to play today? Well, what do you think? Hockey! Hockey time! <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? it's great to skate, 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 skate. Brandy, On the what ice, are you doing? Ice. It's nice, nice, We're playing nice, hockey, nice. right? I think figure skating might be really nice for a change. That's a bad idea, Franny. Figure skating's totally boring. Sorry, but hockey's a little bit rough for me, and I don't feel like playing it today. La, but that la, wouldn't la, work. La, we need two la, la, players la, la, on each team. La, 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 all right, fine. Huh? Before we play hockey, we'll do your figure skating thing. But hockey after, all right? Great! You've got yourself a deal. Fantastic. We're all gonna figure skate. The things we do for hockey, bro. Give it up for ice skating legends Franny and Chucky! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now, here it comes. The double, triple, quad, extra, mega, complicated, super duper loop! Loopy, loopy, loop! Here it is! We're waiting to hear from the judges! Franny, hey! Where did you put the other scoring signs? We haven't got anything but tens! Well, obviously you don't need anything else! And first place goes to... Franny! You may now award me my wonderful prize! Franny, this game is absolutely ridiculous. But I think Bjorn and I can make it better. Really? So can you add, like, music and lights and stuff like that? And a costume with seven billion sequins? Heck yeah, wait here! Bears on ice! Franny, look! We came up with everything for your ice skating performance! Just listen up. So here's what you need. Lights on poles and fancy bleachers, all the big time pro skate features. It'll be something to behold, our Franny skating for the gold! Chicky, what do you think? Yeah! Welcome to the Franny Dome! All right. Let's slice some ice. Work those blades, mammals. That looked graceful, right? Bucky, just watch and learn. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks a lot. Wow, guys. That's actually pretty good. Yeah! yeah. Nice moves. It looks like you're ready. Nails on ice! Wormsicles, sea burgers. Ladies and gentle birds, are you ready to see some world-class figure skating? Of course you are. Hit it. A spotlight. A bear. A fox. It's magic time! Oh, it's great, great, great to skate, skate, skate on the ice, ice, ice. So nice, nice, nice! It's a sequin paradise, dice, dice. We twirl and glide, and it's quite a ride. We jump and spin with a giant grin, because we got an extra super special, big, important, fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, really shiny, and magnificent medal to win! Ladies and gentle birds, Franny and Bucky! And now, let's see what our score is. <laughs> Perfect tens across the board! A ridiculously great score! Franny and Bucky t-shirts and bobbleheads available at the merch table by the exit. I just can't thank you enough, guys. That was the best time I ever had on ice. All right, ready for hockey? You mean, play hockey now? Whose team am I on, guys? Um, the thing is, um, I was hoping we could work on our double lift. Bucky's right. That big triple spin jump was a little bit off, you know. You really should work on it. It's almost there. But what about hockey? How about this? After we work on our figure skating routine a little, then we can have a hockey game. All right, fine. Welcome to the Franny Dome! Dome, dome, where figure skating excellence makes its home! Home, home. Let's slice some ice! Because <laughs> we got an extra super special, big, important, fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, really shiny, and magnificent medal to win! 
A camping trip. Up and up. Chicky, fetch! Aw, oh, what a good little birdie wordy. Great, let's try one more. Fetch it! Where is it, Chicky Wicky? Where indeedy? Good, very clever. You're the best at finding the ball. Fetch it! Oh, Bucky, Bjorn! Hi, guys! Are you boys up to something? Franny, hi there! We're taking a camping trip deep in the forest. Oh, camping? Chicky, we're going camping! Hang on, Franny! You can't come camping with us! You're not big enough! I am so! Look, real camping trips sometimes get dangerous. Okay, but all the beautiful scenery and the fun are worth a little risk, right, guys? Please let me come! Please? Come on, guys. Big pretty, please. Bucky, maybe we should let her. Come on, Bucky. We could totally use her help. Oh, fine. You're in, but no whining. Not a single whine. This is the best day ever! Chicky, just forget about the ball and come with us. We're going on a dangerous expedition. Are we there yet? Are we uh. sure we know where we're going, Bucky? Oh, yeah. I got everything covered. Remind Omedic. Map us a route to the most beautiful place in the forest. With pleasure, boss. Proceed to highlighted path. Time to destination, one Earth day. Or 2.43 days on Jupiter. Or point... I'm not sure that I trust that thing. I better leave a trail back home just in case. A little insurance. BPS, Berry Placement System. In 12.3 steps, continue along the same path. As we are now crossing running water, any ghosts in your party will sadly be left behind. To your left, you will notice a grass. I have written a joke. Two bears, a fox, a baby chicken, and a robot go on a hike. I just need a punchline. Suggestions? Anyone? You have arrived at your destination. Am I good or what? Spectacular! Isn't the view just awesome? Taking walks and playing games when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Uh, camping's just the best. Am I right? You said it, brother. I feel so close to nature right now. Me too? Well, we're all packed up. Remind Omatic, get us home. Calculating route. Oh, I shouldn't have sung so much. Uh oh. The battery's dead. Bjorn, do you have any Remind Omatic batteries on you? Yeah, I've got a dozen. Of course I don't have any batteries. How are we going to find our way back home? Follow the berries. What? What berries? The ones that grow on the rowan trees between here and home. I cleverly dropped a trail of them all the way here. All we have to do is follow them. A trail of rowan berries? That's kind of weird, Bjorn. Still and all, I guess good thinking, Bjorn. I mean, it's a little old-fashioned, but whatever. Go on, Pathfinder, lead us home. Now you see, Bucky. Machine navigation can never replace good old-fashioned bear smarts. Don't panic. We have a compass. Awesome. What's a compass? Well, it's a device which says whatever direction north is. North is that direction there. So is our home north of here? Well, I'm not sure. This good-for-nothing compass is worthless. Who's a good chicky wicky? Listen, guys. I have a way for us to get home. Just watch this. Chicky, go find the ball. You can do it, little buddy. Is something supposed to happen? Wait for it. Quick, follow that bird. Try to keep up. That little chick moves mighty quick. Okay, this all looks fairly familiar. You're doing amazing lazing, chicky bird. Birds don't run on batteries, right? No, Bucky. I knew that. You're an awesome navigator. We're going camping again tomorrow. Hey, can we come? Of course. Just make sure you leave the ball here. Chicky, <laughs> will you please teach me the secrets of finding the ball? The 
Neatinator. The genius at his labors, impressing all his neighbors. Buggy, come on, let's go play ball. Give me a minute. Uh, all done. With what? Only the coolest thing in the history of cool. Watch closely. Keep watching. Watch. What on earth? Wait for it. Now, watch this. The robot home cleaner. The Neatinator. I got so tired of cleaning. Then I thought, robot made. I outfitted my house with a state of the smart mechanical anti mess system. Lucky, wow. That's just incredible. Oh. The round, bouncy dirt has been eliminated. Come on, give it a try. Um, really messed stuff up. I just cleaned that. Then, when I'm finished making the mess, one push of a button and it's done. Wow, it's so awesome. Now I can spend all my time goofing off. Let's play some ball. Think fast. Oops, not a problem. Let the Neatinator do its job. The mess is only a symptom. I have identified the disease. Hang on. Did the Neatinator just call us a disease? The source of all messes. What's going on? Hey, <gasps> stop it. Wait, put us down this instant. I'm the one who made you. Must eliminate source of recurring messes. I don't think the Neatitron likes us. will not be kicked out of his own home! Source of mess trying to return and stay out. Well, great. My house just threw me out of my house. How does one handle that? I guess I'll have to stay with you. It'll be fun. Oh, my goodness. Franny, stop! She's headed to your house. Franny, hey, stop! Uh, Franny, wait! You can't go in there! She can't hear us! Franny! Vacate premises. I command you to comply. Oh, fine. Oh, no. Your house has taken Franny prisoner, Buck. All right. We have to plan a rescue. How will we get inside there? It's full of unfriendly robots. Robots everywhere. I'm getting an idea. We'll go undercover. Beep, beep, boop. Come on, Bjorn. You have to act like a real robot. Beep, beep, boop. Ow. I can barely move in this thing. Hospitality subroutine activated. Drink, eat, be our guest. Thanks very much. It's very clean in here. But where is Bucky? The source of all messes has been eliminated. Eliminated? Spill detected. Clean as threat identified. Slop, slop, slop. Sorry, it was an accident. I'll clean it up. I can't see a dingle dee darn thing. All that matters is that we look like real robots. Command cleaning. Door bell detected. Visitors unknown. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, boop. New models reporting for duty. Beep, boop. Yes, that's right. Boop. We're totally robots. Click. Oh, highly improbable. Whoops. Oh, We're here boop. to rescue you. Yow! These new models are highly inferior. Bjorn, hey! What did you say, messmaker? Keep your voice down, Franny. See that remote control over there? You need to press the off button on it, all right? That remote up there? Suspicion protocol activated. Beep. Boop. Source of mess has returned. Oh, no! Franny, come on! Press the button now! Uh, Negative. Uh, 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 Defensive countermeasures activated. Tidying the house with Franny, hey! Heads up! Oh, Bjorn, throw it! Desist! Malfunction! Slow motion! Give that back, Mr. Messy Pants! No! System rebooted. Awesome shot, Bjorn! Looks like the Neatinator has been eliminated. What am I gonna do with this stuff? Could make a sculpture. I should just get rid of it. It's such a big cleanup job, though. I could really use some help with it. Know what? I'll build a robot to help me clean all this stuff up. Bucky, not again. You're right. Guess I'll just build a sweet sculpture. Can I give you a hand with that? Get it? A 
amusement park. A day hanging out outside in the sun, doing lots of things that we've already done. Trying hard to find a little bit of fun. Come on, can I use the swing? You won't believe the cool trick I can do. But Bucky, that wouldn't be fair. You just used the swing for a long time. It's Franny's turn now. It is. It's too bad we've just got the one swing to play on. Franny's got a point. I could turn my awesome on. And we all know by now just how awesome my awesome is. Ooh, look. The awesome ideal come any second now. All we have to do is think. Think! The swing is getting boring. What we're looking for is something crazy fun. Up north, we really love... What? Tell going me! Going riding down the snow-covered hills. Whoa! Sounds great! Draw me a picture of what riding down snow-covered hills looks like. This part's great. And this is the scariest spot. Well, looks too simple to me. If we want crazy fun, then we're just gonna have to crank this up. We'll start with a plunge down crazy hill, then a death-defying topsy-turvy loopy thing. Topsy-turvy is a term which in science means could make you throw up, which is crazy awesome. I can't wait. We should build a cave of terror as well. That'll double the crazy fun factor. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let's put skeletons and pirates in it. Franny will be like, Pirates, I'm terrified. What should we do? We should build a high-speed launch ramp. And then we could fly over a big canyon. With an enormous tree at the end. And we can scream, hit the brakes. <laughs> this will be like monster fun. Crazy monster fun. So all right. Let's get started. Before you can have your crazy monster fun, there's a crazy monster mountain of work to be done. But we'll soon be having mega awesome fun by the time. Whoa. Bucky, how do I get down from up here? The bear with the biggest brain is also... The bear with the biggest brain. Nice. It's just incredible, Bucky. Over there, Franny will be like, I'm so scared, am I right? And here, that she'll start crying. <laughs> and over here, she'll be like... Yeah, she'll be saying, please make it stop. I can't handle it. Oh, yeah. Last bolt. Now, it's time to get Franny. Crazy monster fun! Franny, hey, if you put your arms up, the ride will be even scarier. Oh, right. Sounds so fun. Uh, I might have changed my mind. Bucky, suddenly I'm not too... Ah! Then we'll uh, catch up. I think we have a kink or two to iron out, Bjorn. Don't you think? Crazy monster fun! <laughs> oh, hello again, little pirate buddies. Well, she's in the cave of terror again. Woohoo! Upside downing is the best. So, how many more times do you think she'll ride it? <laughs> Come on, Chicky! Lots. But I'm having fun here on the swing. It's all the fun without the crazy and the monster, which is nice. It's so much fun, I can scream! It sure is, buddy. 
A cosmic costume party. <laughs> for New Year's, I'm going to be a princess. Well, Bjorn, have you made your costume for the big party yet? I'm going as a pirate. I bet Bucky's going to show up in that old alien <laughs> costume he always wears. No, I'm not. Because I'll be wearing an amazing new alien getup. If you say so, sure. It's the coolest costume ever. Um, I'll be back soon. Chicky, I've got to make my old alien costume even better. Chicky! Whoopsie! I wonder if they have New Year's Eve and costume parties on other worlds. Of course! They have New Year's Eve everywhere, even on other planets. You see that? Huh? Say what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Legal? Dap dap? Blurt? My costume needs something amazingly cool, but what? No, not that. What do we have here? Just junk. Whoa! Totally perfect! Time to be awesome! Almost ready! Where have you been, Bucky? And where's your great new alien outfit? It's coming! Don't start without me! Turn the lights on now, Bjorn. Squeak, daggle, skate! Clean, ski. Clean, ski. Bucky, what an awesome costume! So cool! How did you make that? You really look like a real live alien! I say that it's time to party! <laughs> 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 Bucky, what's wrong? He's doing a great job of acting like an alien. Greetings, Earth dwellers. I come in peace and slight dizziness. Clark, no! Jerks me. Primitive mammals. Whoa. I think that that's a real alien. I am. Pretty groovy, right? Yes, I am a real life, actual, bona fide, awesome sauce alien. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, Mr. Alien. It's wonderful that you decided to come visit us. Studying life forms. Who's oh. this? Oh, hey! Let go of me! Back off! Why you? Ow! Hey, that thing's mine! Um, a pair of Buckies! There can only be one Bucky! And that's well, me! Well, if you're Bucky, who's that guy, huh? I have no idea. Hi there! My name is Franny. What's your name, Mr. Alien? Activating Talkitron. A Vico Vrit Poruski? Habla Espanol? Greetings, Earthlings! I came here from the planet Dweebus, but my spaceship has broken down, and I've been unable to repair it. I wish to return to beautiful Dweebus. A broken spaceship? No sweat! I can fix anything. You'll be back on Dweebus in no time. Broken down spaceship? I know what to do. Bury that baby in a ton of brain boo. There's no malfunction that's a match for my IQ. I'm a hairy fairy genius. Everybody knows it's true. Slurpus Provo Nipper Doop Doop here to Marco Blinko Brew. You said it, brother. All done. Your ship is completely repaired. Thanks, dude. But my accelerator is still missing. Is this it? Yes, that's it. Ha, spiggity dog. Thank you, Bucky. I will never forget you, strange creatures. Are you certain that you have to leave us? Sadly, yes. I need to get home for New Year's. Bucky, a token of my thanks. Thanks very much, my intergalactic friend. Be careful up there. Flying through the galaxy and all. Hop in. I have time for a quick joyride. Spaceship. Dude, we're in an alien spaceship for realsies. Are we getting beamed? We're totally getting beamed! Goodbye, dear Earth friends! Come visit us again! Hey, Happy New Year! I'm totally dressing as Earth Bucky at this year's costume party! And I am definitely dressing as an alien again! You know what? Me too! I wonder how they're celebrating New Year's on all those faraway planets. Weeble Greg, what's he proves for Doug? We go blabbers. Glorpos from Spunk Meeble Dwag. 
a turnip tail. Why do watermelons have to have all those pesky seeds in them? Who needs the things? Don't you think it would be totally extra groovy if they were seedless? Bucky, nature gave them seeds for a reason. If not for the seeds, we couldn't plant more... Watermelons. Who decided that? I don't accept it. Whoa! Idea! I'm going to take a watermelon and uh, something else and combine them. Ah, big raspberries that grow right inside the jar. Just shake for instant jam. I'll make apple trees that grow apple pie. And see those watermelons that float like balloons. Why hasn't anybody because thought of Because it's this impossible. Before? Oh, not for a genius. <laughs> Meet my revolutionary new invention, the Combinotronomatic Innatorizer. Ooh. Should we cheer? I'm gonna cheer. Yay! So it's straightforward. Watermelon here, and in here goes something else, something seedless. Right, Franny, do you have anything without seeds? I've got this turnip. Um, yuck. Are you sure this is the only non-seed thing you have? All right, it's fine, I guess. Right, the turnip goes in, then press the button. Prepare to be wowed. Almost. A seed is born. Plant it, water it, and watch. Bucky, it takes a long time to grow plants. That's all right, I'm super patient. I'll sit down right here and just wait. I'm not moving until I see a watermelon. Well, that's enough waiting. It'll grow without me watching. Let's kick the ball around, guys. Yay, good idea! And this time, you can be on Bucky's team, Franny! Aw, Bucky! Pass it! Come on, I'm wide open! Well, looks like I get a penalty kick! What are you staring at? You'd better protect the goal, or to Bjorn and Franny! Yeah! What is that? Bucky, I thought you were trying to grow a seedless watermelon. Well, to tell the truth, I thought a giant turnip would be awesome. Look at that. I can make a pie. A gargantuan pie. I feel like a proud papa. And mama. Franny, wait. I've got this. A turnip this huge calls for some pretty high-level farming. And I happen to be a fifth-level manure belt in farm food. I'm a dirt whisperer. Okay, we should be able to pull it right out now. Oh, great. Could we get it out with a vegetable magnet? That's not a thing. Get real. Watch and learn, guys. To pull turnip Zilla from its deep dirt pocket, you need to use a super special turnip tugging rocket. Reliance on science can conquer veggie giants. Now for the scientific approach. Forget your farm food, Bjorn. Start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Ah! Goodbye, science. Goodbye, my friend. Your digging's the reason my turnip's in such a deep hole. And who was it that planted the dumb thing to begin with? But I planted the dumb thing for us. One, two, three. Song for, for free. 
Granny. Every day just has a way to feeling your... extra lucky. When you eh, spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn, Bjorn and Bucky. Bucky! Bjorn and Bucky forever! Gosh, you guys are lucky. Must be nice to have your very own song. You could sing it with us. No one's stopping you. Nah, it's just about you guys. That's pretty clear. There aren't any songs about Franny the Fox. Yo! Ugh. Franny, why didn't you say something earlier? We'll come up with a special song just for you. The coolest song in the history of forever! Bjorn, you can write poetry, right? Poetry? I'm not entirely sure. I'm sort of good at it. Ish. You're hired, William Shakespeare! <clears throat> like the clouds above is the fox we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red. Uh, nope. It's just too simple. It doesn't work for me. Well, I liked it. I've got an idea that's way better. Time to be poetic! <laughs> ah. The only one for the two of us, like 33 is to 15. Like 8 set to 9 on the 0 of 2, I will five ways be your 12. How is that poetry? It's totally modern, so it's perfect for Franny's song. Seriously? That can't be put to music. It's just nonsense. But my poem's just right to sing. Like the clouds up above is the fox that we love. Sure as the sun above my head, her fur is red, ooh. Mine can be set to music as well. Just you wait. Time to be musical. <laughs> The only one for the two of us, like 33 is to 15. Like 8 set to 9 on the 0 of 2, I'll five ways be your 12. That is something else. I like both of them lots and lots. Can I try singing them myself? Not so fast, Franny. Don't forget the dance. Every great song needs a dance. Bucky, can you do this? That? Of course! <laughs> Franny, take a look at your own song and dance. Like the clouds up above Is that fox that we love Sure as the sun above my head Her fur is red Yeah, all right I'm so jazzed up The only one for the two of us Like 33 is to 15 Like 8 to 9 and the 0 of 2 All five ways be your 12 Well, gonna bust a move to the backbeat group But you never ever seen a bear this move Yeah Awesome, can I try? Hold it. There's something missing. What do you mean, Bucky? We have a song and a dance. We're ready for the stage now. You're right. What's missing is a stage. Guess what, Granny? I'm going to build you the awesomest stage. You'll love it. If you want to be the music phenom of the age, if you want your picture on every front page, if you want your dance moves to be like all the rage, then you're going to need a first-rate super awesome stage. And once you got everything ready to go, just like the sun says, it's time for the show. Ladies and gentle bears, give it up for the foxiest of foxes, Freddy! Freddy! Look, here comes the moon. This is one of the coolest ideas you've ever had. Thanks a lot. Let's cue the snow. Microphone. She looks like a star. Now shine. Like the clouds above is that fox we love. Sure as the Whoa. sun above my head, I'm red. Bravo, brilliant. I love well, you. Well, what did you think, guys? Um. Well, uh, it was all right. You just need a lot more rehearsal. A whole lot more rehearsal for sure. You're great, though. Like the clouds above is that fox we uh. love. Well, huh? was that better, fellas? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Just keep rehearsing, kid. Like the clouds above! You know what? There's such a thing as rehearsing too much. But I can keep going. Nah, you don't want to exhaust yourself. <sighs> maybe if I sing really loud... Like no! No! Above! We'll rehearse more tomorrow. After I've bought earplugs. Have you heard, heard, heard about the bird, bird, bird? That's so cool! Yeah, Thinking out loud.
loud. Another heat wave. It's so hot. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we had some ice cream? Yeah, that's what we need. Ice cream. Sounds great. We should totally build an awesome ice cream machine, guys. Yeah! We need the stuff that's on those shelves if we want to make ice cream ourselves. Frozen treats will be a breeze. Just mix creamy cream with breezy freeze. Pour it in and mix it up, then watch the cool yum fill your cup. And now, we leave it to freeze overnight. Sweet! We can eat it tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys! I wonder how our delicious ice cream is coming along. I wish I could try it, but I should wait till tomorrow. What if someone else eats it? I should probably check. Oh, well, it looks like everything's all right in ice cream land. Well, while I'm here, I could have one teensy bite. One teensy weensy itty bitty tiny little bite. <laughs> too much ice cream last night. <coughs> oh, I feel like I might be losing my voice. Hi, oh. Bucky! <laughs> Hi, the evidence! <laughs> You're here awfully early. Good morning, boys. How about we all have ice cream for breakfast? Sounds great. Bucky, open it. Uh, um, Bucky? <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Oh, I know. It's that game where you act out stuff without talking and people guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, charades is so fun. Right. Now you're showing us. Um, you're an electric eel. You're a balloon. You're a giraffe. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> uh, no. A puddle? A fish juggler? Uh, Russell sprouts? Ah, uh, you're trying to show us you lost your voice because you slept with the window open. Mm -hmm. Yay, I guessed it! Oh, I really thought it was Brussels sprouts. Hey, what happened to our ice cream? What do you mean, what happened to our... Oh, <gasps> uh, you're definitely a fish juggler. So it was stolen. <gasps> it grew legs and walked away? Your fingers took it? I don't understand. Try it once more. It flew away? The burning sunshine melted it? <laughs> I'm really good at charades! That's too bad. We don't have ice cream. Bucky doesn't have a voice. What a day! <laughs> this could be my bestest invention ever! The Yakomatic Flavatron! It says my thoughts so I don't have to talk! That's, That's incredible, Bucky! Now I can talk and do other mouth stuff at the same time! Like eating! I can run and talk at the same time. Oh, wait, I could do that before. But I couldn't sing and play my horn. Who wants to shoot some hoops? You might have noticed that I asked for that without opening my mouth. Like I can say, catch the ball, Bjorn, without moving a single lip muscle. Ah, I shot Bjorn. Okay, settle down. I wasn't that great. Sorry, I didn't actually mean for you to hear that thought. Go, Chicky. Nice bounce, Birdie. You're going to get dizzy, Granny. Now Bjorn's doing it. Go, Bjorn. Maybe we should have another try at making ice cream. Hmm. We just have to keep it from melting. It's really strange that it melted inside the fridge like this. Inside the fridge? More like inside my belly, huh? What? Oops. Did I just think that out loud? And that too? Come on, Brain, be quiet! Bucky, did you actually eat all our ice cream? What do I do? Do I lie and say it wasn't me? Stop yanking and blabbing all my thoughts! Uh, it, it, it wasn't me. So you're just gonna lie to us? Uh, sorry, guys. I was just gonna try a little. Well, Bucky, uh, at least your voice seems to have come back. Hey, guys, let me make you some more ice cream, all right? Whatever kind you want, I'll make it. I want strawberry. And I'll take vanilla. And I'll have birdseed worm huh? ripple. Uh, why are you guys staring? Was it something I said?
The Pearl of the North. What you Whoa. doing? Hi. Awesome. What a cool model ship. Yeah, right? It's the Pearl of the North, the fastest ship in the whole world. Wow, is it really the fastest? Well, that's easy enough to check. Let's get to the river. Bucky, just wait. See, it isn't quite seaworthy yet. Let me finish up, and then we can try it out tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Tomorrow it is. <sighs> hmm. Chicky, hey! It's tomorrow! Let's get to Bjorn's and test the ship! This is gonna rock! I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited! Bjorn, morning! Hey, where are you? Whoa, it's all finished! Oh, I can't wait to see how this baby maneuvers when we get it in the river! Dude, where on earth could Bjorn be? Maybe at Franny's? Doesn't he know that tomorrow is here? You know what? I'll just take it out really quick! <laughs> Mighty Pearl of the North, with the wind in your sails! Blow ye blustery gusts! La -la. Hey, wait! This may be more wind than you can handle! You're just a model! Slow down! Ah, thorn! It's the fastest ship against the smartest bear! Just stop, Dumbo! Come back from there! It's the smartest bear against the fastest ship! Soon I'll have you in my grip! No! Stop! I command you to come back! Bucky, it's just gone. My wonderful Pearl of the North. So, Bjorn, there's something that I have to, uh, to confess. The thing is, Bjorn, I wanted, I wanted so badly to rescue your Pearl. Thanks, Bucky. But from what? Uh, from, uh, from horrible giant robot pirates. Huh? Long story short, this evil crew of horrible, gigantic robo-pirates bottled and snatched the noble pearl. And just as they were about to make their sinister escape, yours truly blocked their path, gave them a little taste of my awesome bucketude, and what followed was as awesome as the superheroes you see in the movies. <laughs> then I came at them with blam and kerpow, and Long John Tron was all face attack. But Bucky's not so easy to take down. I was ladling out righteous smackdown all over this igloo, baby! <laughs> but then Long John Tron pulls out a cannon, right? Boom! I easily dodge the shot, but the cannonball flies into a wall! Shazing! And against all odds, ricochets right into the pearl and cuts black as into smithereens! To smithereens? To bits! To a atoms! Bjorn, there's nothing left of your model-building masterpiece! Oh, no. Hey, look what I just found in the river. Hey, hooray! It's my Pearl of the North. Uh, Bucky, what about the, uh, big robotic pirates? Uh, did you make that up? Uh, mm, well, in fact, I was the one who took your Pearl. You were right. The Pearl of the North turned out to be incredibly fast. Unbelievably fast. <laughs> So what if I took it without asking? Uh, I just have to make it up to him. Oh, super idea! To make up for an epic friendship fail, you better start thinking on a larger scale. The SS Big Apologies about to set sail! Bjorn? I'm really sorry I took your ship without asking. I was just so excited to see how it floated. It's all right. I forgive you. But it will be a long time before the Noble Pearl floats again. About that, you're completely wrong. If you'll follow me. Building the suspense. All right, look. Ah, oh, I built it out of wood and gilt. It's the Pearl of the North, only bigger. And it's all yours. It's just amazing. Unbelievable! Bucky, thanks a lot! And so the Pearl of the North Mark II hoisted its flags and set sail under the command of Captain Bjorn. I heard that this was the fastest ship in the world! Aye, aye, Bucky! Trim those sails and let's see what she can do! Slippery 
Joe. Gonna be so cool to have a swimming pool. Mm. Gonna swim like an otter. Just need to add the water. That's one. Oh, boy. The tireless trackers wiggle with purpose through the wilderness underbrush. Be on the lookout, friend. The evil Slippery Joe must be near. Just look here. Some suspicious footprints. Oh, hey, there oh. you are, guys. I've been looking for you. Can you both help me fetch water from the pump? Franny, look. Can't you see we're playing here? Yeah, we're natives. But natives are good at carrying water, right? They're good at a lot. Natives are trackers, warriors. They are a proud, free people. That's right. We're great warriors of the tribe. We don't carry water, honestly. Look, this is the perfect place. From way up here, we'll be able to ambush Slippery Joe. Fine. Pump, pump, pump! They say that Slippery Joe likes to tie his enemies to the stickiest tree and tickle them until they pass out. Horror! That monstrous fiend! Uh, uh. <laughs> We're on the warpath! We're fighting Slippery Joe! We'll stop him! <laughs> Slippery Joe, watch your back! Here comes a Bucky and Bjorn attack! Slippery Joe? <laughs> Interesting. Finally time for Franny to be awesome! Yeah! Slippery Snip, Joe So! One final detail! <laughs> Nailed it! <sighs> It's impossible, Bjorn! Tell me you see those creepy footprints! Look there! Slippery Joe! Slippery Joe! Slippery Joe! Do you think he could really be here for real? It's Slippery Joe! Bad, scary feelings! <laughs> Where are you going, boys? You're not ticklish, are you? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 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 Bjorn, return fire! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My arrows rain down like evil snow! Try to run, but there's nowhere to go! I'm too fast and you're too slow! You can't get away from Slippery Joe! And my sticky left zone! <laughs> we didn't mean any harm, Mr. Joe, sir. Oh, please release us. Please don't tickle us till we pass out. Pretty please. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Franny, come closer. Help us, but be quiet. Oh, hi, fellas. So how come you're tied to a tree? Um, we're just playing. It's complicated. Franny, will you please untie us? If I do, will you help me carry water from the pump? Absolutely. As much water as you want. Just please keep your voice down, okay? Hmm, I don't know. I thought great warriors didn't carry water. I was just joking. They're awesome water carriers. Well, all right. You're the best. But let's get out of here fast. Gonna be so cool to have a swimming pool. Gonna swim like an otter. Soon as those gullible boys finish carrying all my water. <laughs> I'm sick of this. How much water could she possibly need? Your name. Do you think we could just slip away? Well, I guess. Just sneak like we're native warriors. Uh, oh! Hey! Slippery Joe wants four more buckets of water. <laughs> Then all of us can swim! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Slippery Joe Water Show! You can call me clever, you can call me cool, but now I've got a swimming pool! <laughs> <laughs> 
a tiny adventure. Just look at him go. I think he's gonna make it. I think you're gonna make it. Now you're just showing off. <sighs> 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and boom! Yeah! Gosh, Bjorn, a hundred times. That's amazing! That's nothing. I got all the way up to a thousand one time. Shame nobody was there to see it. Can I try? I'll be good, I think. Here you are, Franny. Uh, one, two... Whoops. Nice try. I didn't mean to do that. I'll look hard and try to find your ball. It's fine. I carry an extra one. Great! Let me see that. What we need to do is throw the second ball and see where it ends up. The first ball should be in the same place. Find your brother ball! This is science at work. Feel free to take notes. Eyes on the ball and... Hello there! Just like I told you. Uh, you balls, come here! Uh, uh, there's no way I'm reaching that! Yeah, uh, no. We're not getting them like this. They're both too small and we're all just too big. We're too big, are we? I've got a super awesome idea! When these tools and my genius are combined, my friends, I think that you will find that size is just a state of mind that can be scientifically left behind. Done! I give you the unambiguating Dinkytron. It will shrink us down so we can get the balls back. There's one thing you absolutely must remember, though. No matter what, it's important one of us sees normal size all three. Um, Bucky, what was that again? Your voice got really small. I need to understand it's really important that you say things, okay? It's all right. We just have to push this button up on top here. <gasps> you look like a little teddy bear. That felt weird. Hey, what were you telling us? I was saying it's mega important that one of us stays normal size the whole time. Ah, no big deal then. Franny's still normal size. Uh, uh, that has got to be the strangest thing I ever felt. Great, Franny. Now who's going to return us to normal size? That button might as well be on the moon. Got the balls. Well, what good will they be to us now? We're too small to play with them. I think I have a plan. Here's the unambiguating dinky trunk. And here's the reinvigulation lever. Now, there's a ball on the shelf above it. Also, gravity exists. So we just need to roll the ball off the shelf onto the lever to start the machine. Then we reinvigulate. But how will we get up to the shelf, though? We'll send Franny up. She doesn't weigh very much. Just a little bit further. Come on, go! Well, I made it to the shelf. If we had a rubber band, I could bungee jump down to the lever. Dude, Chicky's huge. It's us, Chicky. Look down. He's like a dinosaur. Chicky Saurus Rex. No, wait. Big Ceratops, guys. I don't think he recognizes us. Bjorn, why are you scared? Hey, it's just Chicky. No way he'd hurt us. He only eats worms and bugs. He just eats tiny little things. Feels like we are right now.
Lucky FM. Shovel full. Shovel I'm tired full. of this. Shovel full. Ugh. So, Bjorn, when do you think our skating rink will be ready? <sighs> it should be done by tonight, I hope. Tonight? So we have to keep shoveling until then? Whoa! Awesome idea! Some music would make the work less terrible. I'll be right back. There. Now here's a little delightful music for us to shovel snow by. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky. I think you'd make an awesome disc jockey like on the radio. On the radio? Time to broadcast some awesome! Hey, groovy people here and there. Hey, groovy people everywhere. The world's smartest awesome beer will soon be live and on the air. Checkity check check. Uh, is this thing on? Hello there, dear radio audience friends. Welcome to Radio Free Bucky. Bucky, what about the ice rink work? Coming at you live, this is the Buckmeister, the forest's coolest DJ playing the forest's hottest tunes. All right, it's the awesomest. Right, so I've got my own show on the radio. I'll be playing you super sweet music night and day. All right, fine, but we need to fetch some water for the rink. Um, do you guys hear anything? Nah, nothing, dude. Massive problem, guys. There's no sound. My radio show isn't on. That's just plain wrong. Relax, mammals. Radio Free Bucky is back on the air. Tell us what's going on with you, Bucky. Are you just going to sit inside all day long, Bucky? Yes, I am. These righteous tunes aren't going to announce themselves. This next remarkably upbeat song is dedicated to yours truly. Sing along. You know the words. Kids playing games when there's sunny weather. Sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Books together. Yeah. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. Lucky, extra lucky. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. That's right. Just yeah. like Bjorn and Bucky. Radio Free Bucky. At the sound of the tone, it'll be midnight o'clock. Sort of late. <sighs> and now your favorite DJ, the Buckmeister, will read a bedtime story just for you. Bucky's Sleepy Time Tales. Ah, the story starts. Little Red Riding Hood built three houses of straw and sticks and bricks. No, wait. Mm. Uh, oh, she sold her glass slipper Ugh. to the goose that laid golden mm. eggs for five magic beans. And then, um, space monkeys attack. The end. Sweet dreams. Good morning, dainty little listening ears. It's a new day of Radio Free Bucky. And it's time for, oh, I don't know, a song or something that you can do your morning exercises to. That's a thing. Right? I think Bucky was at it all night. Franny, we've got to stop this madness. Yeah, we'll never have a decent hockey game without him. You're right. I might have an idea. When your friend has disappeared into a feedback loop of weird, just show him what he's missing, and maybe then he'll listen. <laughs> and now for the news of the morning. Huh? What's that sound? What's going on out there? All oh, right, a hockey game. Right, Bjorn shoots off the boards. He recovers the puck and passes to Franny. Oh, and she takes that down. All oh. right, he's watching us. Just keep messing up like that. Bjorn moves to take a shot. Oh, and misses the puck completely. Gosh, missed it, huh? You call that hockey? Franny passes. Bjorn shoots again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Who plays like that? That's it. I'm going down there. Yay! Bucky, you're on the ice with us. Here's how you play hockey. Bjorn, pass. Goal! Ha. Oh, yeah. Let's play the 10, Bjorn. Bucky, but what about your radio show? really know, but these goals aren't going to score themselves. Franny, you're on my team. Come on. First to ten wins. Let's get started. Franny passes to Buck. He drives down the ice and scores. And Bjorn scores. Franny's in control of the puck. <laughs> Looking good and goal. Bucky passes to Bjorn and goal. Bjorn, Bucky, blow him 